Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering NFL Week 4, the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Washington National Football Team. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now uh, and get all the updates each and every time we have prediction picks coming out on the YouTube channel. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Uh, coming into this game, you see the Baltimore Ravens and what they do well. They run the football exceptionally well. They're taking on a young team in the Washington National Football Team. And you're looking overall just what these guys are going to be able to do well. Um, the defense is going to put up a fight early in the football game, but I don't think Dwayne Haskins is going to be able to keep up with anything Lamar Jackson is going to do. As much as I wanted Dwayne Haskins to work for the Washington team, I do not think this is going to be the quarterback of the future for this team. You look at his decision-making, forcing the ball into different pockets, different windows when he doesn't need to. Um, there were several drives and big drives that Washington was trying to get going and they were stopped by Haskins throwing the ball when he simply could just take in a sack or either throwing the ball away. When you're an NFL quarterback, you have to understand time management. You have to understand you have to get the ball out of your hands and you have to do it in a timely fashion to where you're not hurting your football team. Um, the defense late in that football game, they let Baker Mayfield get away with a lot of bad decisions that he made. They didn't give the effort that was needed to win that football game. They could have easily won that football game against the Browns. Effort plays, discipline plays. When you leave gaps open, you let guys make big catches on you. You let guys run the football. And you look at Chubb and Hunt. A lot of those big runs that they had could have been stopped. Uh, arm tackles were not made. You look at them trying to punch the ball out rather than actually trying to tackle somebody. That could have been the difference between someone uh, getting a third down versus a first down. So, Washington has a lot of growing to do, young, young football team, but it's going to be a long day for them against this Ravens team. I think the Ravens are going to take advantage of the youth. Lamar Jackson is going to run all over the, uh, basically, the Washington team all weekend long. And you're looking just, you know, they say this is a rivalry. It ain't going to be a rivalry game this week. It, it's not. The, the Ravens are going to win this game pretty handily. I think there are going to be a couple of flash plays you'll see from this uh, Washington defense. But I'm picking the Ravens to win this one big. I do not think this is going to be a close football game within 14 points or so. Um, I think the Ravens are really going to have their way with this team. Ingram's going to get going and everybody else is going to get going. And a three-headed monster for Baltimore is going to definitely get going. Um, I'm picking the Ravens to win this one against the Washington team. Are you Washington team fans? Are you uh, Baltimore Ravens fans? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And definitely share the videos on Facebook and your sports group. And subscribe so we can see you each and every week here on Sports Choice Plus. Thank you so very much and have a great one.